Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about another sensor and it's the ultrasonic sensor which allows you to measure the distance between the sensor and any objects. We are going to use it with our microcontroller which is the Raspberry Pi Pico. Optionally you can add this display so that you can see the distance or you can use the Tony IDE so we can print the distance right here and let's dive right into it. So if you have watched my recent videos about using the ultrasonic sensor, you will see that we have four pins for the PCC, which goes to the 5V pin of the Pico. We have the ground on the right side that goes to the GND of the board. Also we have two more pins, we have the trigger and the echo pins, so these are used to control the ultrasonic sensor so that we can measure the distance using the sound waves. Basically we have two parts, we have a transmitter, that sends the uh, ultrasonic wave and we have the receiver basically when the sound wave bounces back with an object we can calculate the time that it takes using the echo pen and because we know the ultrasonic uh, speed we can calculate the distance so if it sounds a little bit confusing don't worry we are going to write the code to send the sound wave and get the distance in centimeters or we can use a pre-made library which makes it easier for us to get the distance the VCC goes to the VBUS that outputs 5 volts. The ground goes to the GND. You could use any of the GND pins like this one. But most importantly, we have the trigger and the echo pins. For the trigger pin, I'm going to use the pin number uh, 14. The echo pin is going to be number 15. But you don't have to use the same pins. We're going to write that in the code. For now, let's stick with that. We're going to get the distance and print it using uh, Thony IDE. But first of all, I want to explain the functionality of the sensor. Basically, we are going to use the trigger pin to send the sound wave. And you have to send it like this. We are going to set the trigger pin as low at the beginning of the while loop. Then we are going to set it to high for 10 microseconds using the time library. And that's going to send the ultrasonic wave. Next, we are going to wait for the echo pin. Once we read one from it, we are going to calculate the time that it takes then we can get the distance by dividing the value by uh, 58 which converts the time to a distance so 1 over 58 is the speed of the sound wave if we multiply it by the time or the delay we can get the distance in centimeters to do so i'm going to import some libraries of course we need the machine library or the pin from the machine library by writing from machine import the pin command or the pin class next we're going to need the sleep command so that we can wait also we have to use another sleep command that waits for microseconds luckily we have one that is called sleep underscore us which stands for microseconds now we are going to declare our pins the first one is the trigger pin equals pin which is number 14 we're going to use this one as an output so that we can set it to low or high for 10 microseconds by writing pin dot out but for the echo pin we have to use it as an input so that we can get the delay of the sound wave pin 15 then pin dot in for inputs now we're going to enter the while loop which is called over and over again by writing while true and each time we're going to set the trigger pin as low then we are going to set it to high for 10 microseconds by using trigger dot value equals zero or we can use another method by adding dot low so python is really easy and we have different uh, ways to write the code next we have to wait a little bit of time by using sleep underscore microseconds and we need to wait for two microseconds next we're going to set it to high for 10 microseconds and finally we have to get it back to zero or set it to low again by writing trigger dot low now we have to keep track of the echo pin basically we have to wait until the value of the echo pin uh, changes to one which indicates that the receiver have received the uh, sound wave and we're going to calculate that delay time and to wait we can use the while loop so while the echo value using dot value is equal to zero in that case we're gonna wait I'm gonna print waiting or let's simply use pass so that we can easily see the distance from the shell 
And once the value of the echo pin changes to one, we're gonna go to this line. So we have to add another variable. We can call it start time like this equals the value of the current time in microseconds. If you have used the Arduino, we use the function millis to get the uh, current time in microseconds. But in Python, we have another command under the time library and it is called ticks. We're gonna use it. Then I'm gonna add another while loop so that we can wait until the echo pin gets back to zero, which means that the sound wave is completed by writing while echo dot value is equal to one. In such case, we're gonna wait. If you are asking why I put this word pass, basically, if you don't put anything under the while loop, it's gonna give you an error. That's why you have to uh, write pass like that. And once it gets back to the value zero, we can calculate the finish time by adding another variable, finish time equals, and we can use the same command ticks. And finally, we can calculate the delay time and divide it by 58 to get the distance in centimeters. I'm gonna use a variable and call it distance. We're going to use finish time minus the start time and divide the value by 58. Now to make sure that it's working, I'm gonna print it using the print command, distance. Also, I want to add a little bit of delay by using the sleep command. So we're gonna get the distance each one sec. Let's give it a try. So we have an error in line number two. I think the method or the function is called ticks underscore microseconds. So here the value is a method. So we have to add the parentheses. Same thing from here. And let's give it another try. And there you go, we have the distance. It's about 30 centimeters. I'm gonna put my hand. Now it's about four. If you want to get an integer, you can round the value by writing round. And yeah, now we have 30 centimeters. Before I finish this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the LCD display. Of course, I have talked about it. I'm gonna connect it right now. You see, it's really simple. Now to use it, we have few libraries that we need to import. We've already done that. And I'm gonna show you the complete code. I've simply combined the code of the last week with this code. On top, I have imported the library pico underscore i square c underscore lcd so that we can declare the LCD object that takes in the address. And you have to specify the SDA and the SEL pins. I have used the pins number zero and one. And to get the distance, you simply have to put all of the code that we have written under the function, like setting the trigger pin to high for 10 microseconds and waiting to get the start and the finish time. And at the end of the function, we use return to return the value of the distance. Then we can use it under the while loop. So while true, we are clearing the display using lcd.clear. Then we are putting the string. We can print distance and in front of it, we are getting the distance by using the function get distance. And that's how we can call a function or use it in our code. And in front of it, I have printed the uh, centimeter unit. And we have the sleep command. Let's give it a try. And there you go, we have 21 centimeters. So I hope you liked this video. And if you want to understand something else about the Raspberry Pi Pico, make sure to put that under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.